Hey guys, it's Katrina from How to Start a Mom Blog. We are talking in the How to Start a Mom Blog Facebook group about um, search engine optimization just a little bit. And you wanted a bare bones, just a very basic, what is search engine optimization and what are some things you should do and shouldn't do. So I'm just going to go through that for you. Um, you might be able to tell, maybe not, but I have a little bit of a cold, so I do apologize if uh, I'm a little bit more raspy and I hope you can hear me okay. So SEO is stands for search engine optimization. Basically, it's things that we can do in order to help our content rank better in search engines, particularly Google. Um, everyone always says Google because they are the biggest game in town, but they're not the only game in town. There's, uh, you know, uh, Yahoo, Ask.com, I think, I think that was Ask Jeeves, uh, Bing. You know, there are other um, ones as well. Basically, the, all these search engines, they all have their own um, ranking. So it's just, you want to get into into them and try to do what you can. Uh, they all have their own algorithms. It's all very complicated, so we're not going to get into it. So basically here, I'm at Google and say I want to search for thinking outside the sandbox. I want to rank up the, uh, the highest. And here I am, I'm for number one for the business site, number two for the family site, then our Facebook page, Facebook page, and then it's some that I want to obviously outrank. These are not me. So it's just it's, um, our LinkedIn page. So it could be the same thing. Maybe you want to rank for ice cream. Now some of these words are very competitive. Um, it's getting a little bit more into it. But, you know, Wikipedia is number one, like the Chapman's, these are huge brands. So ranking for a keyword such as ice cream, maybe is not going to happen. Um, but there are other ones or certain phrases that you'll definitely be able to rank high in. People generally go to the first few pages of a search engine. Like you generally don't start looking on the 10th page and seeing what's there. But, you know, there's an ice, this looks like an ice cream place in uh, New York. Uh, a page on the haagen page, that sort of thing. So just so you can kind of see, we want to get as close to the number one if we can, or if number one. So I just want to show you some things that you can do or, and that you should be doing in every single post. So what you want to be doing is you want to be writing a post about whatever it is that you want to search for. It could be anything. Um, this is a post that I did about making my home a bit more energy efficient. So energy efficient is what I wanted my whole post to be, and that's what's most important to me. So you can see my title reflects that. My title has what I want to rank in. And then if you look in here, you should also have the words energy efficient in my post as well. Oh, energy. I see I'm spelling it wrong. So I apologize. This is my cold. <laughs> Not thinking quite well. So if I look, okay, there's my title. I have it here in my first paragraph because that's what I want to um, search for. I'll look at here. It is again. And I have it again. And at the bottom here. Now, you don't want to put in energy efficient every other line. Um, that's called keyword stuffing. That's very bad. Um, you don't want to be doing that. But you know a good amount of time so that the bots that go through know okay this is a post and look at oh they keep mentioning energy efficient if I bring you into the post here you can see that five steps to make your century home better energy efficient that's my title and I've repeated it if we look into the HTML here you're gonna see that is also done as a um, h2 tag so here it is right here Basically, that's a heading. So it's just showing the Google H2 means it's pretty important. So Google is going to look at that more so than any of the other words. Even though I bolded, bolding is just like for style. Google and Bing and all that. Again, I'm just probably going to just say Google, but I mean all of them. I was going to know that that's pretty important. If you have, this is our my kitchen sink here. You might not have this as a plugin. It's Tiny MCE. I'll link to it underneath the video we can kind of see the ranking heading number one you know it's the biggest boldest most important and down from there so some people use that that's a little bit more of an advanced SEO tactic I don't use it too much just use it for there but it's something that I use in this post another thing that you should be doing in each post 
is search engine optimizing your images. So if you go into your edit here, you can see in our alternative test text, I put in my um, I put in my title again because that has my words. This is what my post is about. Basically, good SEO is making content what it's about. I don't want to have people come to a post that's all about five steps to make your century home more energy efficient, and then I start talking about bananas. That's uh, pretty clear and cut forward, but that's basically what it's all about, right? It's content is king. So I just want to show you a little bit more in those images because images are so important. When you go and you upload your images, this is what you'll see. So a title, I always change it to the title of my post as long because I always like to make my titles really clear and concise. Um, some people like to have a little bit more creative titles. They might have said like, brr, it's cold in here. Um, how to keep your tootsies warm, which is a fine title. It's campy, it's cute. But when it comes to search engines, nobody is going to be searching for brr, it's cold in here when they're looking for energy efficient tips. So that's something to keep in mind. And so I have it for the alt text as well. The alt text is also, that's that alternative text. That's what Pinterest grabs. So you want to make sure that has something and not just like DW42 or whatever your camera automatically uploads. You want to change these every single time um, to make it easy. Basically just out of pure um, ease and almost laziness. Like I just always make the title one but you can always change it from there. Uh, and in the description, you can also have a description saying, um, in this post, I'm going through five tips and explain it that way. So that's really basically the gist of it. That's bare bones SEO. Um, I could get into other things, but that's basically it. Content, you wanna write about whatever it is that you wanna be ranking for, and you want to have good content. Um, also the size of the post it used to be told like between 300 and 500 words was ideal, but now Google's finding that people are really liking lengthier posts. So I find that a mix of posts. If your post happens to be 1200 words, it's 1200 words. Uh, you really don't want to go under 300 words. 300 words is pretty much the minimum of what I'd recommend unless you're doing like, um, you know, wordless Wednesday or something like that. Um, but again, we're getting into a little bit more advanced SEO and we already did with the header tags just a little bit. But that is the very basics. All right, well, I will do another video then where I'll go a little bit more advanced for you and I'll also put a little bit of information and I wrote another po uh, post on this as well and I'll link that to that underneath the video. All right, thanks guys.